Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Joshua Wen. Uh, my classmate uh, Yuli Yang um, come um, come, to, come here today, so I take the place of him to make the presentation. Uh, uh, Chenba Bao uh, is building a unified public uh, service cloud platform, internal supporting the group's product cloudization to decrease cost and increase efficiency, external serving government and corporate customers and internal customer, inter internet customers. Uh, up to now, there have been four clusters in uh, the uh, China Mobile Public Cloud. Uh, they are located in Beijing, Guangzhou, and Changsha. And uh, the total capacity of the, uh, these four clusters have been over 15 PB. Uh, and uh, the metadata sync uh, uh, is between them and uh, over fast fiber. And uh, we use separated RGWs for users and the metadata sync uh, to uh, decrease the latency. Uh, yeah. uh, in the uh, public cloud, uh, the, uh, cloud uh, the storage must have rich features. Uh, users will come compare your product and uh, with other uh, product. Uh, uh, and uh, they will choose the one uh, which is miss, miss their requirements. So, uh, based on the self, uh, uh, we develop some features. Uh, so some of them is a S3 feature, which is not uh, implemented uh, in self now, uh, like uh, bucket notification, uh, bucket logging, and uh, storage class. Uh, uh, storage class is implemented uh, in the master branch. Now, uh, this is used to uh, migrate uh, data between different uh, pools, uh, so we can make a pool with uh, a kicker and uh, a pool is used the uh, erasure pool. So we can use storage class to migrate data between uh, these two pools. And uh, a part of S3 feature we also developed some customized feature, uh, which is uh, required by users or some projects, like uh, uh, request callback, uh, bucket origin, uh, RTMP upload support, and a symbol link. Uh, ap uh, after over two years of operation and maintenance of the public cloud, uh, there are there are uh, really something uh, need to be improved in the public cloud. The first is cluster ex expansions. Uh, in the public cloud, user upload files to their buckets with no restrict. Um, but uh, the storage resource is limited. So when the resource uh, is consumed exhaustion, we must expand the Cluster. Uh, one one row, one solution is to add a new pool to the cluster, so the data rebalancing uh, will not uh, not uh, work between these pools. But uh, add a new pool will need users to change their bucket name, and uh, in public cloud, uh, the users want to change their bucket names, so we can't uh, uh, add. A, a new pool to the cluster, so we add uh, servers to the existing pools. Uh, however, this will uh, cause the data rebalancing between the, between the, uh, in the cluster, and the user requests will be blocked sometimes. Besides, uh, uh, the self uh, uh, the cluster size has its restrict, so when the cluster size is really huge, how can we do uh, It's really a problem. Uh, and the second is update. Uh, because the public cloud uh, usually needs some mod uh, development, uh, and uh, we open, uh, especially on RGW, so we uh, open restart RGW when we updated the cloud clusters, but 
some modifications on RW needs to be done in CS RGW modular. So when we modify the CS modular, we must uh, start all the OSDs. And uh, in, in our cluster, uh, cluster, the OSDs number is really big. So restart all of the OSDs is really time consuming work. And the last uh, is the, pr the pressure on the master zone group. Zone group. This, is, uh, this can be <coughs> happen in our um, pro um, production environment. And we can see over 10,000 uh, of concurrent requests on the master zone group. And the uh, RGW is really, really slow. And the uh, modification on metadata, is, the latency is really <coughs> big. So thanks. <laughs>